What is going on everyone? It's Andrew back again with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my review on MLB The Show 22 so far. I mean, I have a ton of time put into this game. I've been playing, you know, obviously since launch. And there's been a lot of interesting things I want to talk about in this game. Obviously, each aspect of this game is different. Like the hitting engine we've seen time and time again is still pretty weird. The fielding is a lot better than it used to be. And obviously, pitching, I still think needs some improvements, to be honest. But I'll talk about that all in this video. First, I want to go over my play time. As you guys can see on your screen, I got 17 days, probably about to be 18. Last year, I had about 21 days played in MLB The Show 21. So I'll probably be playing a lot still on this account and throughout this, you know, winter and stuff. So I just assume I'll probably end up with like 20 days or maybe 21 days again. We'll see. But you can see where the time is spent, obviously, mostly in Diamond Dynasty. I have played Road of the Show a little bit and, you know, some of the other modes, which have been really fun to play. But mainly in Diamond Dynasty. But one thing I do want to talk about is the hitting engine. Because the hitting engine, don't get me wrong, it's got a lot better over the years. I remember back in 18, 19, 20, 21, um, it, there was some funky things. But it's got a lot better. They improved it a lot. The only problem I think a lot of people are having right now is that when you get a perfect perfect, it's not a guaranteed hit. People are mainly thinking if you get a perfect perfect, it should be a hit. Which, you know, I understand that. I understand that. And it's very frustrating to deal with that. But this is not really how the sport works. You can hit a ball 120 miles an hour at someone and they can still catch it. You know, so I do understand that part of the game. The perfect, perfect foul balls make a lot of sense. Like, that is just really dumb. That's something I would love to see them fix next year. Because that's just, it doesn't make sense why that's happening. You should be late. If you're perfect, perfect, it should be in play, right? I think everyone agrees with that. It should be somewhere in the center of the field. Um, so... I, I don't really know why that keeps happening in the game. I don't know if that's a glitch. That's something I gotta fix, but that's definitely gotta get fixed for next year. And then another thing would probably be, I guess, my third complaint, I guess you could say, is that sometimes you be throwing the pitches outside the zone and they should be home run somehow. Like, I've had that happen multiple times where I've thrown a pitch with the zone in here and the ball's over here and it's a home run. Like, I don't know what kind of wizardry muscle you gotta have on uh, that part but that's the only other thing i can complain about and i'm talking about significantly outside the zone like massively outside the zone and not like you know right on you know if it's right on the lines obviously it makes sense or a little bit off i can see it but there's been a couple times where i've been really off the lines and not really close and they've somehow been home runs i don't really know how that works in the game's code or how that is getting functioned but that's just a really weird uh thing that i get i'm seeing happening so perfect perfect foul balls perfect perfect not being outs and then the home runs that are not in the zone are really my three things for the hitting engine, to be honest. I mean, the hitting engine just got a lot improved. I mean, I like that they had, you know, obviously the swing path they've added, the good, perfect, late, all that stuff. They've added that. And yeah, overall, the hitting engine's been pretty good. I kind of liked it this year. Those were really my only three complaints. Besides that, I think it's been pretty good. Now let's go into pitching. So pitching this year, I thought has been really good. Um, I do obviously pinpoint was amazing last year. That was probably the, one of the best things they could have added. Making your pitches more accurate is you know, amazing to see that. I like seeing that in game. And then, you know, obviously it's still kind of inconsistent. Um, I know I'll get some perfect perfects a lot of the time and uh, it doesn't go where I wanted it to which is kind of annoying to be honest i mean it's like it's minor things i think gotta be tweaked there but there'll be sometimes i get perfect perfect like literally perfect perfect and they are not going where they are i've seen clips on twitter that i've seen clips on other platforms about that um so that's something i i think i'd have to say is sometimes you get perfect perfect they don't go the way i noticed a lot of times the sinkers in this game and so if you have a righty on the mount and you throw a sinker inside um, you know, obviously to a, to a left-handed batter, if you throw in a sinker inside or right-handed batter, if you throw to the, that part of the zone and you miss your spot, it always goes right down the middle. I've noticed that multiple times that you guys have seen that on multiple streams that I've played that if you throw a sinker there and you miss your spot or it's yellow, it always goes right down in the middle. So certain pitches like that, I think kind of have to, like, you kind of have to like play kind of what you know. So every time I throw a sinker now, I know if I don't hit that spot, it's a home run. That's kind of how I look at it. So that's something you kind of have to get used to when you pitch with pinpoint in this game obviously i don't really know about any of the other pitching modes i only use pinpoint because it's the best one so if you guys have any other critiques or anything else on the other pitching modes make sure to drop that in the comment section below but since pinpoint's the most accurate we're gonna be talking about that one um so yeah that's my first critique is the perfect perfect pitches and then the second critique is, the, is sometimes like you just know where it's gonna go. like that singer for example you just know where it's gonna go but honestly that's really it like pitching once again was pretty fun this year I, I, I did like it a lot with a lot of cards. You would dot some really good corners, dot a lot of guys up. Uh, but obviously, it's baseball, so I've had a lot of times where you get to that 11-pitch count or that 10-pitch count, and you're like, damn, dude, I don't even know what to throw. 
So that's kind of just the sport at that point. But yeah, I mean, I, I like pitching this year. I think it's been really fun. And um, that was my only really two complaints. Now let's talk about fielding. So fielding, obviously, they've improved it a lot with the bar. They've obviously improved it this year where it's e easier to catch home runs with the little timers and stuff that we've seen in the outfield, which have been absolutely amazing. I love those things. Um, and then, so fielding for me this year, I thought was really good. I've never really missed a really bad throw online, at least. I probably missed one in, you know, the, the play versus CPU or whatever, but that doesn't really matter at the end of the day. I would say the feeling stats are really accurate to the bar on your screen that uh, does that. I feel like that's really accurate when I've seen, you know, me make plays. And once you get used to it, like they've always stated, it is pretty easy to do. It's not really that complicated anymore, but I've definitely noticed that a lot, um, that whatever your feeling stat is, is, is how big the bar is. But there are some cards that have 99 fielding and the bar is still kind of middle there. Um, you know, they are humans, so I guess that makes sense. But that's the only thing I've really noticed about the fielding. I mean, it's been pretty consistent um, all year. Like, there's really, it's really hard to get an error is what I'm trying to say. Unless you have, like, really bad fielding. A lot of the first basemen in this game that are really good hitters, terrible fielding. And it's sometimes hard to get a good throw off with them um, if you ever try to do that. Like, for example, if you got a man on first, you know, one out. And you try to go to second first the bar on that thing is very small so you have to make sure you're timing it up really well um and then you know obviously get back to first to get that double play but that's something i've noticed with a lot of the first basemen so that's why you gotta have the overall best round card not only could take just something i kind of noticed obviously i think that blue bar was pretty interesting to add i think most people like the ball like the little baseball icon um, i never really switched mine over i just kind of get used to the blue bar but I, I, th I think i think it's okay it's not the best feature they've ever added I, th I think i think it's an okay um, thing onto the game a lot of newer players really don't understand it which you know makes sense um so i understand that point point. and the thing at the wall was a high needed thing we needed that uh for a while it's really easy to catch the home run well not really easy but it's easier than it was to catch the home runs that are going over the wall or really close um it's still kind of inconsistent though because there'll be balls that are really that guaranteed gone right over the fence but you could still have a chance to rob it which doesn't really make sense in my opinion but i wonder if there it needs to be like in a certain range for that to count for able to catch a home run i'd love to stack the game's code on that or something like that it's probably a certain range between that the fence and the home run like the guaranteed to actually make that call something i've kind of noticed when i've been playing this year is that that has happened to me a lot where the ball is clearly a home run and you have still have a chance to catch it which you don't yeah i guess the last thing i'll talk about is running so i mean i mean running really hasn't changed that often to be honest i've seen a lot of people cheese it though um in the rundowns and stuff like that so i think the rundowns is the only thing that needs to be fixed with running because I feel like the characters, they, they, they run and then they like, and they do that like stutter step and where they go like, so, so they'll run, right? And then they'll do the stutter step and then run back. It's kind of annoying because in real life, you don't ever do that. I don't think I've ever played baseball where I've done an animation or something like that. Like if I'm in a rundown, I'm making short, quick, you know, turnaround sprints to get back or to go to the next base. I've never had like the players like run, 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 and they, they, you click the button and they run, they turn around and they keep running and then they go back. That's the thing that's really annoying. It makes rundowns really like easy to know and predict, you know, to get to get outs in the rundown. So if that's the only thing I'd say on the, on the running side, that is really weird why that's still a feature or why it keeps happening. It should be short, quick sprints. Uh, you know, the perfect way to be have MLB guys actually come in and, you know, do with the animations like we've seen that they put in the game before, which is something that I would like to see in that aspect. But there are a couple ways to cheese the running in this game like there's like there's the way you can stop in the baseline and then just go again um, which is really smart to do i've seen i've seen a lot of guys on on the internet do that which is funny to see but a lot of the people that are feeling are just dumb so i don't know it is what it is but i feel like the running that's the only thing i got to critique on that but with that all being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like comment subscribe to the channel go check out all my socials down below in the description with my discord on there my twitter and my tiktok and i'll see you guys in the next video peace everyone